two is the best and worst Christmas song. With that being said, CJ, you're first. Now, now first off, you know, you know, I've never I have never really been a fan of Christmas. You know, so as far back as I can remember, you know, as a kid, I was never that big of a fan of it. But I didn't I was never like against it, you know, until I got like older. Oh, especially Christmas songs. Once I got older, I couldn't stand Christmas songs. I it's, I think it's I think it's maybe because of like you know working retail and working different stores where this shit's being blasted at you like twenty four seven all the fucking time, day in and day out. Yeah, you know if, yeah. If a Christmas song starts playing, I immediately get irritated. I yeah, I can't stand Christmas songs. I love everybody. I give out presents. I do donations. And I do yeah, and, and I'm a good person. But I'm a good person like that all year round. You know, I'm you know, I'm not the shady motherfucker who needs to fucking like, okay, I'm gonna do this for like the two weeks during the Christmas area to make myself look good and then be an asshole the rest of the year. Like, no, I know I'm like that all year round. You know, so I don't need you know, the Christmas holiday or the Christmas spirit to be a good person. So I'm already a good fucking person. You know? And that's another thing about Christmas that irritates the fuck out of me. You know you're a piece of shit person. Fuck you, stop posing. Anyways. Yeah. Now, anyways, the song I chose as the best Christmas song is Spice Girls Got Run Over by a Reindeer. After you said all this shit about being a it's, good person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, no, the thing is, the song is, is, the thing is, the song is utterly ridiculous. It's utterly ridiculous. You know, it's, it's just, you know, it's just stupid, fun, and festive. You know, it, yeah, it's stupid, fun, and festive. Oh, you know, and you know, I and I love, I love Spice Girls, and I don't know this song. Oh, yeah, this song always cheers me up, and you know, cheers me up, and it makes me laugh and gets me in a good mood. You know, I, you know, yeah, I actually feel something when I, you know, when I hear this song, I actually feel something. You know, I feel real good. Like this. So you know, that's yeah, that's why you know, I think it's the best Christmas song. Now, the worst Christmas song ever. <laughs> uh, yeah. Santa Claus got A's this year by Tiny Tim. Yeah. There's no way to describe the fucked upness of this song. Is song's complete garbage. Oh, and just the, the lyrics are all fucked. The lyrics are so fucked up. It's just I I. I I cannot, I, I can't do it. I cannot describe this. Song. It's just, dude, Santa Claus got A's this year. That song is fucked up. That is horrible, horrible, horrible song. <laughs> All right, uh, Evans, your first. Listen, I'm not trying to spoil anything, but I'm just letting you know on my rankings, this is the worst and this is the worst and the worst of the best on both of my lists. Um, <laughs> When we said best and worst Christmas songs, I thought CJ was going to be normal. And then CJ come out of left fucking field with this shit? Um, <laughs> CJ that was going to be normal? <laughs> really? CJ, yeah. CJ, have you not seen the show? CJ, you were supposed to pick the best Christmas song and you picked the worst Christmas song for the best Christmas song. You got the worst one right, but God <laughs> damn. That there's n- there's nothing more that can be said about these two songs, but that CJ. Yeah. Hey, no, this is the best Christmas song for me. I agree with Evan. Okay. I, um, I let's just I got the gist of the song within the first minute of both of these songs. Um, neither of them are good. It's just one of them is much worse. This shit, <laughs> is the kind of shit that I expect CJ to choose, but sometimes <laughs> like, I don't understand how deep this shit goes for CJ. Like, even at Christmas, this is the shit that you're doing, CJ. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm just like, oh my gosh. With that being said, I would not advise that anyone actually take their time to listen to these songs. <laughs> <laughs> Just hey, trust us. Spice, no, Spice got run over my reindeer. Trust listen me. to it at least once. At least at trust least once. Me. Don't listen to it at all. You, yeah, you no, don't save no, your time. The other, the, the other song, fuck it. No. D- just, just don't, don't even, even look it do up. it to yourself. 
it's like don't just I had to because obviously I need to like have at least a little bit before don't don't do it. <laughs> like I need obviously I left I listened to a minute and left the B song and even that was too much. I didn't need it. It didn't look like it was it looked like it was going downhill from the beginning and it started at downhill. Like it's like <laughs> the piss um I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it at that <laughs> so 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 evan and cam don't believe in giving i can't fucks with it for for bad answers i believe oh in, i didn't think about that i didn't even think i was just like oh it's horrible I, get it away. I, like, I, listen for your worst Christmas song, you definitely get it. I can't fuck with it. Like it's so bad. <laughs> oh my god, it's so fucking bad. So, so uh, I know, right? <laughs> so, so Evan said that both of your songs are are going to be fourth or like bottom of the barrel, and that's for, that's true for me too. However, I thought the the Spice Girls never was kind of funny. I, I laughed. I did laugh. I, might, I, I laughed I might too, laugh. but it was laugh. terrible. It, it was hard. It's horrible. Yeah, it's a horrible fucking song. Yeah. But, but 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 I did laugh my ass off with that with that song. Yeah, uh, it's, it's, it's a, See, it's that's bad. why I like it. it it'll, yeah, it's light. It's light. Airy and kind com- you know, it's comical. Mm. You know, yeah, it, you know, it's not. It's not like super preachy. It's, no, it's not. Like, you know, it's not like super religious. You know, yeah, you know, it's for you think. You know, it's just yeah, it's just light. Yeah, yeah, it's just light, fucking fun. Yeah. That's one of the reasons why I like it. So, it goes without saying that I hate Christmas. I do. Um, but there is one Christmas song I like, and that is uh, the Winter Wonderland song, only because I have a personal story with it. You know, I, I used to be in choir when I was in high school, and nobody had heard me sing. And one day we had like, a, oh, let's have a little celebration for the holidays. If somebody wants to get up, do this, do that, sing a, sing a Christmas song, you can. I got up and I sang it and everyone was like, this motherfucker can sing? Because this was back when I could sing. And then I started sounding like shit. So, Winter Wonderland. My, hey, I was in high school, dog. What the fuck? The, the time frames don't add up. But anyways, so uh, Winter Wonderland is my, is my pick for the best Christmas song. The worst Christmas song of all time. And I'm going to say this with the most emphatic fucking passion of all time. All I Want for Christmas by Mariah fucking Carey is the most abysmal garbage piece of shit other than what CJ just said that has ever existed in Christmas music. I swear to God, it's like fucking nails on a chalkboard whenever I hear Mariah Carey sing. Okay. And not to mention, you pair that with Christmas and they fuck each other and it comes out with that demon spawn. No, I'm good. All right. Um. <laughs> Winter Wonderland is a, definitely a staple Christmas song. You're going to hear it in December, no matter what you do. Oh my God! Especially <laughs> you to the radio. At some point in the in the month of December, you're gonna go somewhere, or you're gonna pass something that's playing this song. I accept that as part of life. Okay. <laughs> With that being said, I blame Winter Wonderland for that phase in my life where I thought I was gonna look like what I thought. Christmas was gonna look like in that season, All and then time. what I actually get. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that whole glistening white snow only lasts until somebody go outside. Then it's gray. Like all of the shit he actually lists, you don't get. <laughs> like, like you only get it in the movies. It's it never happens in real life. It would be nice if it did. It is just not possible. And so I was always just like, what the absolute fuck? <laughs> like, Stop selling me shit. That's not real. <laughs> now, granted, all Christmas songs have some bullshit in them, so uh, it's not like I'm tanking it for that. But he just pa- he paints this beautiful thing for the season that is absolutely in no way, shape, and or fashion in any of the aspects that he talks about plausible. And oh, you are absolutely correct, Mariah Carey. Granted, she has a good voice. But the, the it's not that I hate the song. I just hate how much it is played. Like it's like, oh, Thanksgiving is done. Let's get Mariah Carey. Her right. Way. Like it's just like she. I'm. A, uh, I feel like she has to be paying people to play it so that she can keep her money, <laughs> so that she can stay. Like she like every December is her Trust only income. 
and then she takes 10% and pays those people to do it again next year. Like, I feel like that's the only <laughs> reason she's still rich. <laughs> okay? The only reason this is happening. With that being said, next person. Oh. That's how I uh, went to Wonderland first. Uh, went to Wonderland is, uh, like Cam said, a staple in Christmas. Uh, you're going to hear it everywhere, literally everywhere. Um, it is probably the out of the four. Well, I'm not even gonna count CJ shit. So out of the three, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, out of the three we have, it's probably more. It's the, it's the most upbeat. It is the most upbeat one. Uh, it's, it's, it's a toe a toe tapper. Let's let's say that. Uh, it's a knee slapper, yeah. a toe tapper. I, I was so thinking that. Yeah. Uh, however, this this is for white people. Oh. Yep. It, it really. I'm, I'm going to be honest. It's for white people. The, none of the, like uh, camps took that shit. I'm, I, like literally, I was about to say, you will not find on that shit in the hood, especially in Philly, where I'm from. And 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 that's and that's the problem with, with with most to all Christmas things. Period. Not even just songs, but movies. Like we talk, we talk about the Santa Claus. There was no black people in there. How how Santa Claus going to come to the, to the to the projects? I think there was a black elf. There was a black elf in Santa Claus. But that was it. But that's because they're not real. Yeah, he, but he was in the back of the factory, though. So, so that's my only problem with, with uh, most Christmas things. That is Christmas. The the it's the white people's version of Christmas. No, no, no. Let me phrase that. So the the money part of Christmas, like like the like yeah. So it's the commercial for, version. The, the commercial part of Christmas is not for black people at all. It's not yeah. uh, advertised to black people. Uh, no, with, that, with, that, with that being said, uh, Evan, you are right about uh, Mariah Carey. Um, uh, I, I, God damn it, this song. Um, it's, it's like I said again. I'm gonna leave CJ shit out here, out of this. <laughs> but, but, uh, <laughs> but, but, but this is a horrible fucking song. It, it really is. It's, it's not better as, as Seneca Eggs, but and Kim. <laughs> like, uh, uh, so Kim, Kim is right though. Like, literally, literally, I don't know why this song haunts me, but literally every time I go to like a grocery store or fucking Rite Aid or somewhere they got Christmas music, this song always on. It's you just said something about on. the mall, about the mall during yeah, Christmas time. Yeah, and it's it's, it's, oh, it's my fault. And, and this shit was on. Yeah. Like, the shit, the shit was on. Yeah. Like, oh god, ugh. like this, this song haunts haunt me to death. Like, god damn you, Mariah Carey. All right, I ain't gonna lie. I've been ducking Winter Wonderland for this whole fucking month. <laughs> like, but uh, yeah, as soon as I hear a place, I'm like, no, uh, yeah, no, I'm out. I, you know, yeah, I've been ducking from Winter Wonderland for this whole month. But yeah, I, uh, no, I have yet to hear fucking like the first full bar of it. So, hey, bells yeah, ring. So, yeah, oh, no, you fuck you, bitch. Yeah, hey, again, so like I said, like I said. There's reasons why we cannot do this show all together in one room. Yeah, because no, yeah, because no, I would have punched Evan in the throat immediately. One is one of the most fucking plays on one of the, like yeah when they use 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 the word, word staple one of the most played songs. But yeah, but it's one of the, yeah, but it's one of the most irritating of them. It's, it's so blah, just blah right now. Like no man, like look. Put, you know, put some soul into it, like put some fun, you know, like just you no know, upbeat it or something. Like somebody, somebody redo the song and maybe I will listen to it. Wait, fuck that song. Um, now, anyway, the uh, uh, Mariah, now nah, Mariah Carey. Uh, uh, let me some Mariah Carey. Unless it's this song. Oh, Unless it's this song. You know, this song. You know, the, the thing is, this song was cool when it first came out. It's just that. It's so diluted, and they play it so often that yeah, you can't help but be pissed about it. You know, yeah, it's just like somebody sitting you down and making you watch the same movie over and over and over again. You know, Evan, you got kids, so you know exactly what that's like. I you literally know, have you, seen yeah. fucking Onward forty million times. Yo, yo, exactly. Yo, yo, so yo. no matter how, no matter how good the shit is, you're gonna hate it. Cause you're Yo. sick of fucking watching that shit. Really? You know, and that's no, and I think I think that's what happened with this song. Cause it's actually not a bad song, but since they played all the fucking time, you yeah, you just get sick of hearing it. Yeah. What were you gonna say, Dre? 
So real shit though, uh, um, uh, it plays all the time. Like it literally had an ad on TikTok when you first fucking come on to. Oh the, my god, when I when know. You first, when you first come on to the app, it, it was Mariah Carey singing this fucking song. It was uh, so fucking bad. All right. <clears throat> okay, so, um, I had one strong honorable mention which cannot be chosen because it was a choice. Um, so moving on to. <laughs> Soon as I relinquished it, it was snatched up. <laughs> yep. Oh, oh yeah. I yeah. And so this actually is like this my my best Christmas song is something that like for some reason like really gets to me. I don't know why. Um they don't they talk they sing more about the season than like Santa and elves and bullshit like that. Um and so Oh Holy Night is the best Christmas song. I feel like if you were having a rough year and you're that person that walked into an empty church and sat in the back and the choir was practicing, this shit would make you cry. Like, I feel like with certain parts in your life, like this song, like it will actually like touch you. My worst is Santa Claus is coming to town. Obviously it's another song you're gonna hear. It's unavoidable. This song, is the reason why I was cool with Santa Claus not being real. All right. This shit is very fucking creepy and it makes you uncomfortable every time because some of this shit has nothing to do with delivering toys. Why are you watching me when I sleep? Why? <laughs> like just, like just, just answer me that question. Why are you watching me when I sleep? I always feel like he sees you when he's sleeping he knows when you're awake like and i'm from the hood okay i sleep with a knife under my pillow in the bed by my bed what you want (laughs) as a part as a child there's a part of you that wants it to be real especially if you're a child from the hood you're like you know you even though you don't have a, a, a fireplace and a chimney you hope that it might be real and he's gonna shimmy down your you know your your heater and like they do in um, the movie, The Santa Claus. Um, ah. But the one or two gifts I might get don't balance out you stalking me all year. It does not, it does not, it does not. This was, it just, it ruined the idea of Santa Claus for me. I just, it's just fucked up. It's just fucked up. <laughs> first and first, let's talk about Oh Holy Night. Let's talk about the good about Oh Holy Night, right? Oh Holy Night, if I do, do my, my, my deep voice, this is one of the songs that I can hit really well. Oh, I want to hear that. <laughs> real shit. Real shit. It's one of those songs that I can hit, not really well, but it, you can you, you be able to listen to it. Like, it's not bad. It's not that bad. Um, so that's the good thing. The bad thing is, because I can hit that that deep, it, it gets boring. Oh Holy Night, the original Nobody Holy Night. Nobody told you not to try other songs, Shirley. Yo, 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 no, no, no. <laughs> I'm talking, about, I'm talking about overall, 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 Oh Holy Night, because the original Oh Holy Night, cause you, cause you, you actually didn't say which one. The original Oh Holy Night is just some oh, some some deep voice white guy just singing. Oh Holy Night, my eyes are shining. It's basically a Christmas lullaby. That's <laughs> basically what it is. With that, with that being said, Santa Claus is coming to town with my honorable mention by the, by by the Jackson Fives. By the Jackson Five, I got hit. The, I got hit. The Jackson Five. Got hit the Santa Claus mo- is coming. Just because you harmonize the stalking does not make our stalking. <laughs> yeah, that was the only good. Ver- that's the only good version, though. The only, that's the good, the only good version. Good version. The only good. I'm not saying. I'm not saying that the words. I'm not saying the words are, are, are not bad. Because, because you're, you're, you're right, Cam. Cam, you're 100 right. The, the, the stalking shit. I, I, thought, I, I said it all the time. Yo, listen. If I catch a, a, a white man, fat white man in my house, I don't care who you are. I'm gonna knock you the fuck out. Like, there's no way in hell. No way hell. You're not getting these hands. However, however, the Jackson Five, because what Mike and Tito and all the rest of them did to this song, I love it. It's my, it's my, it's my honorable mention uh, right there. All right. Yeah. See, the thing is, I'm right along with you. Like the whole fucking thing. And fucking like, Oh Holy Night is slow and boring as fuck. You know, it's definitely something I, you know, it's not something I would choose to listen to ever. Santa Claus coming to town. Uh, it's a bad song. Mm, but not, but not quite the worst. Close. Not as bad as Ace. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think it's, I think it's second to that one. You know, Santa's a straight. No, Santa's a straight people in Tom, dude. Like fuck that. Dude. 
He knows when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. He knows when you're eating food. He knows when you masturbate. Like, no, fuck that. <laughs> like, why? Santa, why are you looking at me? <laughs> like, no. So, okay. Uh, enough has been said about Santa Claus is coming to town. There ain't nothing else I can say that ain't going to prove that song is terrible. <laughs> um, let's, talk about, let's talk about Oh Holy Night real quick. Okay, so I am oh, not a religious Holy person. Night. And I know that it's not necessarily a like the most religious Christmas song in the world. But I'm also not a guy who's going to go to church and listen to a choir sing Oh Holy Night. So for me personally, I don't like it. But it's just, it's, it's too slow to be a Christmas song in my opinion, like everyone else has said. But it's also just... Uh, it's not great. Um, well, with it right until you said that all Christmas songs have to be at a certain pace. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I feel like, I feel like no, hold on, hold on. When I think of when I think of Christmas, shit. <laughs> when I think of Christmas music, I think of holly jolly Christmas music, like upbeat, up tempo, made to make people feel a little better. I I can't stand slow Christmas songs. They're even worse to me than than Mariah Carey sometimes. Mm, but okay. I get that there is more meaning behind the slower Christmas songs than there are necessarily the faster ones. So. Okay, so it's on me, and you want to hate my honorable mentions, but I do got some honorable mentions, and they are slow songs. Uh, yeah, number, I hate them all. So number one, <laughs> so for the for the best Christmas songs right now, well, I got three. One is Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer by The Temptations. I love that. Oh yes, DeAndre just hates everything white in Christmas at the same time. <laughs> Well, it's, well, here, oh I'm, shit! I thought I thought Aaron yeah. Mitchell, Dre, you better hit my honorable mention. That just thought of. All right, so uh, number two, and Kim going to hate it for it, but my, my honorable mention is "Santa Claus is Coming to Town" by Jackson Five. <laughs> by the Jackson Five. Yeah. All right, and number one, my, my last honorable mention, and again, if it wasn't my, if 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 Kim didn't pick uh, her pick, I probably would change this. Change to this is "Let Us Know" by the boys by Boys and Men. Mm, that is a treasure. Literally, he picked only covers of the original songs. All right, oh Dre, go Dre, I go. I, uh, I forgot. I got one. Uh, I had one honorable mention. Fucking uh, Silent Night by Boys and Men. Really good one. Yeah, actually, actually, actually it's a good, good Christmas song. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was hoping you was gonna say yeah. it. No, no way. But I, the, I only heard that song on the Fresh Prince of Bel Air when when Nikki got uh baptized. That's one. Yeah, heard right. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, and that's just amazing. All right. But, however, my pick for the best Christmas song is definitely Silent Night by The Temptations. It has to be by The Temptations. It can't be by anyone else because, like like I said, it'd be boring. By The Temptations, it's still a slow song, but, yo, they put they put funk and, and, and soul into this song, <laughs> yo. It's, it's just a, a, a amazing-ass fucking rendition of this song. Silent Night by The Temptations is a great fucking song. And it's, it's it's actually, and I know Evan said I, I play everything black, but it's a black classic. As, as well, let me, let me phrase that: it's a black East Coast classic. I'm not sure I'll hear, but I'll hear. I mean, when I hear the Motown Christmas album, I'm definitely going to hear "Sound Night" by Temptations. I've, I've, out here, I've heard the Boys to Men version more than I've heard the Temptations version. Yeah, out in the East Coast is definitely that's 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 a staple. That's a hundred percent staple in the, in the East Coast. Uh, my worst song though. <laughs> My worst song is "Baby It's Cold Outside." You talking about talking about Santa Claus uh, coming to town? This motherfucker would try his best to get and, and talk about the original version of the song too. This motherfucker tried his best to get this girl to stay here. Try he, he tried his best. Even even he was trying to get them draw holes, bro. He, he, he <laughs> tried, he, he tried, so if it's not one of the thirsty of all thirsty songs, like real, real shit, he went in there. He did and everything then, except Rufalin. Whoa, 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 hold on, <laughs> hold on, because a part of the song and the reason why it got cut off with a lot of uh, radio stations, especially in New York and I think New Orleans, is because it, uh, part of the song said, "Was in this drink, thinking that, thinking that uh, she people." He's trying to cosby her. Yeah. All right. Now the silent, no silent night by the Temptations. I think is fucking bullshit. No. Oh yeah. Now, not because it's not a good song, because it really is a good song. The thing is. Right, ew, it's not Silent Night. You know, it's not. Yo, it's no. It's not Silent Night. You know, it's like it's almost. Like, it's almost completely different fucking song. You know, dude, yo, when I hear, yo, when I, yo, all right, if I'm looking for a Silent Night, I want to hear fucking change saying Silent Night. I ain't trying to hear them fucking like. I ain't trying to hear them fucking like all the ad libs and all the fucking bullshit and all, and all of a sudden like completely different fucking verses. It's like no, nah. you know, I want to hear Silent Night. You fucking like, where's your soul? Hollywood. Yeah, they don't. They don't. This ain't Halloween. I ain't trying to be tricked. Oh, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't trying to be tricked. This is a, yeah. 
No, I don't, yeah, yeah. If I say if I say Silent Night, I want to hear Silent Night. I want I don't want to hear a completely different fucking song. Give me Silent Night, bitch. That's what I want. Well, no, no. The baby is cold outside. Baby is cold. This, no, no, no. This, this actually not bad. No, actually, no, no. This, this is actually not bad. You know, <laughs> and I, honestly, I bet you know for you know for his time. I bet you it was oh, it was fucking amazing for his time. Oh you know, yeah, no the, the the back and forth and the timing and places. You know, yeah, it was good for the time that it was actually written and performed. Uh, now, like decades later, yeah, <laughs> like of course it's not the greatest. Like you know, multiple decades later, but you know, but back then, you know, but back then it was you know that was you no know, that what they did was probably the shit. Oh, you gotta give it his due for the fucking time. CJ, we're gonna get into that. Um DeAndre, so I I uh I the re I can't give an I can't fuck with it to CJ shit because I don't count that as real music. Um <laughs> I'm gonna shitting. give you I'm gonna give you the double I can't. Well for the best and the worst um out of the songs because um this song, the Are you kidding me right now? Hey, the uh. Temptations version is it's a classic. I've only heard it a handful of times. Um, I love the Temptations personally, so it, it's a classic. I can't fuck with it. Um, now, uh, baby, it's cold outside. Oh, this dude should be locked up. <laughs> like, he was thirsty and he was willing to do whatever it took to get the nook. You know what I'm saying? Um, with that being said, I think if that song got remade by newer artists, I'd enjoy it more. I just, it's so slow. It did. It, Dude, uh, no, no. It did Lady, get remade by new artists. Lady Gaga. Ooh. Lady Gaga somebody else. Got okay, I can't fucking say no, Lady Gaga no, so that I don't actually, got that shit. Actually, no, actually, it's been remade multiple times. It's just, you know, and it's the same fucking shit. So Cam get next, right? But Evan, you're right. Because if, if I get remake this with two people I want, give me Eric. Adele and Sam Smith sucking crotch. <laughs> so, Silent Light by The Temptations is a black classic on the East Coast. That is, in fact, the truth. And I know this because the song sets up all black people from the East Coast. And I knew this because I'm, again, for people who are new or not familiar with me, I am, of course, obviously black, but I'm Haitian American. And from the East Coast. Okay? <laughs> So I grew up in a Haitian household and learned, you know, more common black culture a little bit later than everyone else. Because even though you're in New York City, as soon as you step inside the apartment, it's Haiti in there. Obviously, I've caught up as an adult, but there's some things. But and here's why I say it sets up black people, because. You know, when you're in school, especially if you like, like ever had to do choir, any type of music class. The default thing that teachers would do during this season would have you sing Silent yes. Night. And it would set up all black people <laughs> because we would start singing and everyone would go, Silent In my Night. Mind. Except, except the, exactly. Except the yeah. people who grew up on the Temptations version because the Temptations version intro is so long. It don't feel like an intro. And you start with, in my mind, that's all like yo, Cam, for a Glee Club in, 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 in elementary school. I did that shit, yo, real shit. <laughs> right, right, and you was the only one. Everybody right. looked at you like, <laughs> right, or was I, just a group of black kids. Everybody else looking at the black kids like, what the fuck are y'all doing? This is a very common song. I know you know this song. Okay, so that is my there. only gripe with this song. I've seen person after person after person <laughs> get embarrassed. Okay, all the way through high school, this song sets you up. And it's always one person. The song is beautiful. The Temptations do a very wonderful rendition of this song. It's a great version. Okay, I love it. It's very smooth. It's like it's like a cashmere on your fucking ears. Like it's just nice. <laughs> it's <very> nice. <laughs> but I cannot forgive it for all the people that it hurt along the way. <laughs> for um, Baby is Cold Outside, there's some, I'm gonna try to make this quick. Obviously, like CJ said, in its time, when it first came out, where all people were horrible, 
this song was great. All right, the do the do actual duet of it is beautiful. I, I think it's dope. All right, I know now that you know we are a more modern people. Uh, people realize what's wrong with the premise of the song versus the actual lyrics and you know you know execution vocally. Um, the premise of the song obviously is very predatorial and <laughs> okay. Um, but with that being said, like women pointed it out to the point where okay guys were like all right we accept that this is shit but first of all men fought women on this person y'all gonna mess the song up too we can't even sing some christmas songs without feminist ruining y'all bitched so much for years before y'all would even agree that this that this shit was predatorial and then y'all ain't stopped being predatorial <laughs> y'all still doing the shit in the song <laughs> That is what's wrong with this song. It can still happen today. She's leaving. Open the door and let her out, okay? She's aware that it's cold outside. It's snowing. It's December. She came here. She wasn't born inside this building. She had to have come inside. She knows what the weather is outside, bro. So for the best, I actually will put Silent Light by The Temptations as number one. I will put Oh Holy Night as number two. I will put Winter Wonderland as number three, and I will ignore CJ Schwartz. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at Silent Night Presentations, number one. Winter Wonderland, number two. Hey. Uh, oh, yeah, Holy Night, number three. And Spice Girls, number four. <laughs> uh, Winter Wonderland, number one. Um, I'll go Silent Night by The Temptations, two. Oh, Holy Night, three, but that's only because CJ picked a god-awful song. Uh, <laughs> CJ, CJ literally could have picked any other Christmas song, probably, and I would have put it over <laughs> Old Holy Night. But hey, uh, yeah. it was a, hey I'll put my number. I'll put my number, number four. Yeah, it's, a, it's only good for me. Like I said, it's only good for hey. me. So I have Silent Night number one, and then I have uh, Winter Wonderland number two, and hey. only because only because it's more upbeat, and I can get jiggy with that. Old Holy Night is three. <laughs> 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 can get jiggy with this shit. Uh, Old Holy Night number three. Uh, and then fuck CJ, <laughs> and then CJ, CJ's number four. Hey, hey Dre, we twizzies. <laughs>